Good morning. It's very, very important for everyone to pay attention, to notice to this simple, 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 very basic understanding that we are who we are and we are who Hashem made us to be. And we're all different. And the fact that we're different brings a new shade, a new color into the world. And if we would all be similar, if we would all be the same, we wouldn't be able to, to help each other, to support each other, to, to benefit each other. Only the fact that we have different life experience, that we're coming from different background, gives us the tools, the ability to assist each other and to give a hand to those ones who are weaker than us in those points that we feel strong. That's the most beautiful thing in creation, that the Creator made so many colors and so many different forms of life. And even inside one of those species, still there are so many differences between every individual and individual. I know about myself that I received so much help from people during my lifetime. So many friends came by to my help and to help so many times and assist and because of them in many ways I am who I am today. And I know that many people enjoyed from me allowing myself to be who I am and they were able to find advice in my words and wisdom and in certain acts of generosity and kindness that I worked toward them. By that, we were completing each other in so many ways. But the main obstacle is that the person is afraid to, like, to allow himself to be who he is. You're afraid to dance, you're afraid to sing, you're afraid to talk, you're afraid to write. You're afraid to write that book that you always wanted to write. You're afraid that people will not like it. You're afraid to, to make that Facebook um, live talk to people. You don't know how it will come out. You know how scared I was in the beginning to hold the camera, to stand in front of the camera. But you get used to that. It becomes to be part of your nature. And like, I remember that for many years, I was I was embarrassed to like I wasn't feeling comfortable like dancing and and doing certain things like when people were around but after a while in one of the holidays one of the occasions that I could dance I like I started and I felt very comfortable like suddenly it opened but you need to dare you need to allow yourself to do the things that you wish or else you're never gonna accomplish, you're never gonna fulfill your dreams. And then you lost the treasures that have been given to you by the Creator. That He knew, He knows always exactly what you need to do to complete yourself, to become who you are. We must follow the inner passion for life that rises from within, from inside of ourselves. You have your unique talents, your unique powers, your unique energy, your own individual sense of humor. And, and you need to use that. Those are the sparks that have been given to you to share and to spread in the world. And if you're not going to do that, the world will be lack of those wonderful treasures that you've been blessed with. It's our obligation. It's a must. It's a need. And people depend on our courage, in our that we will be brave, that we will like be stubborn all the way, not going to go back from expressing the honest, true light of kindness and friendship and honesty that we're holding inside. That's our mission. That's the main Yetzirah, the main obstacle is blocking us from believing in ourselves. To believe in the Creator, it's easy. Oh, there is God above. 
Can you look at the sky and say there's no God? Can you look at nature and say, no, there's no God? You need to be a fool to say there's no God when you look at this wall. Like if you observe a little bit on the world, you cannot ignore the godliness that, that is all over the place. To believe in yourself, that's the mission. To believe in yourself and then you will find out who Hashem really is. When you go and ask Hashem, who are you? He will answer you, I am who I am. That was the answer to Moses. I am who that I am. But when I'm asking you who you are, who are you? I'm asking you, the individual, you, that person that is watching this video. Who are you? What can you answer? My name is Eitan, my name is Yael. No, that's not enough. You're much more than that. You're much more than your name. You are who you are. So here you found yourself answer the same answer that the Creator answers. Why? Because there is a godly portion of heaven that's your neshama, your soul, that is treasured inside of you. And it is godly as God is. It's a portion of God. And it's your soul. And that's who you are. So stop being afraid to express your godliness and go and share the beauty with the world because the world needs you to be brave and strong and to clean the world and to purify it from all the filth and fears and darkness that is surrounding you. Be brave and shine. Be well. The world is not existing because Olam Milchon Elev, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. Okay.